Um, I'm here with one of our newest Hall of Fame members, Rachel Castro Oren, pole vaulter for the women's track and field team. Rachel, we'll talk about that more specifically, but I know it's been a good evening. Just what's going through your head being our newest inductee to our Hall of Fame? Um, really excited. I just, I love Cedarville and I love the athletic program and just feel really honored to be considered and then to have been able to be inducted. I think my, the meeting of my athletics and my faith at Cedarville has just been instrumental in my life going forward. So, Expand on that a little bit, the transformation perhaps, uh, you know, when you came, what the university did for your life and uh, as well, I know the track and field team is a real special unit too, how yeah. that played into that. Yeah, so the at Cedarville at large, um, I came in with the mindset that education is relatively neutral. So it's a transmission of facts and you kind of go to school and that's it. And upon coming into Cedarville, which was my first fully entrenched Christian education, um, I came to quickly understand and deeply value the idea that education is never neutral, that it is, it requires a spiritual context and has one, whether we want to give it one or not. And so the importance of that being a Christian worldview just really solidified itself and actually is what um, turned my life into pursuing Christian education ministry. So, yeah. I don't know what the stereotypical pole vaulter is, but <laughs> for our viewers that don't know, you're not a very big woman, you're not very tall. What coerced you to want to get up on the end of a pole 13 feet in the air? Yes, so most of the time when I meet someone and say I pole vaulted and they say, what? <laughs> You're too short. Um, honestly, I had no, I didn't even know what pole vaulting was until I got to Cedarville. I'd never been to a track meet. Um, my high school gymnastics coach said, I think you should try it. And I was like, all right, sounds good. So I came into it with a gymnastics background, which just had a lot of the ability to know where you were in the air and how to maneuver yourself in the air. And so when they first told me what to do, I thought, that's it. <laughs> so it was kind of a funny transition of gymnastics, you're flipping a lot, and in pole vaulting, you just go up once and then you come down. And I said, okay, let's try it. So so that's kind of how it happened, and um, yeah, it's been great. Very accomplished. That's why we're here tonight, because of that. <laughs> um, you're doing some incredible things right now in, in your life, and uh, we, could, we could do a full interview on, on your Christian school, but just give us a brief snippet about the Classical Academy and what's happening Yeah, here in so, yeah, we, the two things that um, the Lord has really called me in my life to pursue is a passion for education and a passion for strengthening families. And I always assumed that my life, that the Lord would take my life in the direction of public education or going overseas and doing education in a different context. And I just, the Lord kept saying to me, um, I have strengthening for, of families for you. And so that's kind of what became the impetus for launching the school was merging a passion for education and a passion for families. And so that's kind of where the Lord brought me to um, wanting to disciple Christian families in the education of their kids. Now, I want you to, last question, I want you to comment about your family. Uh, for our viewers that don't know, you're married to John Warren, who is a successful baseball player here. Mm -hmm. And I know you're super thrilled about your family. You're very family yeah. oriented. Tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, so we have um, five children and our two boys are adopted from Ethiopia. And then we have three biological daughters and throughout our time here at Cedarville um, met John and realized very quickly we had the Lord was kind of putting our life in the same direction in a lot of ways and one of those things too had to do with building our family and so the Lord had spoken to me as a young kid and same for John about um, it's very hard to read the Bible and not see God's heart for the fatherless. And so both of us growing up just kept saying, this is what Christians do. And so this is what we're going to do. And then when we met and realized that was also a commonality that was really exciting for us. So, um, so yeah, we just fully embraced the fact that God had called us to build our family through adoption and through biological kids. And so that's just kind of, people have asked all the time why. And I said, well, you can't read the Bible without seeing God's heart for the fatherless. And so, wow, well yeah. put. Rachel, it's been a great evening, and yeah. congratulations Thank to you. you in our Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.